Casablanca expert Chet Davis here with you today with a short video tutorial to help you get the most from your Casablanca video editor. Today's topic, audio, but we're not going to listen to the audio. We're going to look at the audio. What in the world are you talking about, Chet? Well, there was a post on the Casablanca forum this past week, and I replied, and, it, and this person said, I think my audio's over-modulated. Well, and it reminded me there's things that I do to visually check out stuff happening in my Casablanca or recommend to website members and clients um, to check out before you do anything because it's important to know there's so many variables, so many variables. All the connections we have, you may have audio connected to your Casablanca. I don't care if it's a smart Internet machine or a Bogart machine. We got a lot of stuff going on. And it might be an audio out to the monitor, to a speaker bar. It might be you're listening to audio on a headphones through a mixer. You could have audio playing through an amplified system in your edit suite. There's so many options, and there's you know so many potential for things to be unplugged or, or not set properly or the switch in the right position. So here's what I recommend first. If you experience audio issues, irregularities, like you can't hear the volume or the volume's too loud or the volume sounds too too low or too loud, here's what to check. And I've got three different scenes, and I've gone in... These all had decent audio to begin with, and I've gone in and changed two of them using the uh, volume selection and the audio mix and made scenes of them to create the undesirable effect that we've got here. So the first scene, what I do is maybe it's a little bit low. So you could play it back and listen, but, but that's not going to tell you if you have a cable that's unplugged or something else. So here's what I recommend. Select the scene, go into trim, okay? And then as we scroll through, you can see that we do have an indication of audio going on. Okay, so I do have audio that's going on. It may be a little bit low, but it's not concerned that it's it's not there. It definitely is there in the scene. If that's too low for me, what I might do is adjust the volume level on my speaker where I'm hearing to make sure that it's there. And if I still can't hear it, maybe I've got a cable that's unplugged. Okay, so that's the first indication. And then I'm going to go through and show you what each of these three scenes look like in the audio mix menu. Some people prefer to do uh, the diagnosis over there as well. So here's another scene. Let's say I'm not hearing audio from my system. I play it back and I play it back. Well, let's check the visual indicator. I think it's much quicker. So I open up the trim function and I scroll through and look at this. It's flatline. There's no audio whatsoever. No audio whatsoever in this clip. Okay. So that tells me that's an issue with the scene itself. It's not my speaker. It's not the connection to the speaker. There's no audio on that scene. So I have a problem either on the camera, on the original footage. First thing I would do is go back to the original footage, if you have that, and listen on the camera itself with you know uh, either the built-in speaker, if your camera has that, or if you have a pair of headphones, headset, earplugs, check it out and make sure there's audio on that clip. Um, and if there is, then it's a problem with the cabling that you've got as you imported the scene or a setting you have in your Casablanca is not set properly to allow the audio to be imported. Last scenario is maybe someone says, gee, my audio sounds overmodulated. It sounds splatty. That's the best technical definition I can give to overmodulated audio. Well, let's check it out. Again, open it up in the trim menu and let's scroll through here. Uh, and it starts out fairly normal and then... Oh my golly gosh, look at this. It's starting to increase a little bit here. And it's that's flat line on the top. Totally overmodulated, overexposed audio, if you will. Now let's open that up inside of the audio envelope. So I go back to my main menu and open up the audio mix. I click on that potentially offensive scene and open up envelope, the audio envelope, and it gives me a snapshot right away. Sure enough, I have over modulated audio audio that was recorded louder than the system can handle now some people say well just use the envelope chat and adjust that and i do have a tutorial on use of that but it's not going to help it will lower the audio here but it was recorded over modulated and it's going to always sound splatty yeah i can take it into something like audacity and sound soap and and, and attempt to clean it up but really, if you can, the best scenario is to re-record that scene or, or that footage because that is over-modulated. That's going to be bad audio if you need to use that audio. Okay, So that's a clear indication we have over-modulation. So even just lowering the volume level on your monitor uh, will make it quieter, but it's still going to be splatty. Okay, Our second scenario, we're working in reverse order. Let's take a look at this scene in the envelope. 
And this is our flatline audio. There is no audio whatsoever in, that, that goes with that particular scene. And here's our first scene as we click on the first clip and open up the audio envelope. You see, we it's a little bit quieter at first, but then it, it it's relatively normal. I might boost that a tiny bit depending on what we're doing. But for the most part, that is fine recorded audio that's you're going to have peaks and valleys okay when people are speaking and talking natural uh you know sounding audio is going to have highs and lows that's just the way it is with with the real world unless you have a test tone then it's the only time it's just going to be flat across all right so that's a look at how you can use the visual indicators in our Casablanca editor to help you diagnose potential audio issues. Casablanca expert Chet Davis saying, thanks for joining me. Ta-ta for now.